Good morning. I'm here with Kevin McCarthy. He's an attorney from Pittsburgh and he's running for Superior Court. Good morning, John. Tell us some about uh, your background, your experience, and your qualifications. Sure. Uh, I was born and raised in Pittsburgh. Uh, my father was a letter carrier, my mother was a nurse. And uh, I went to the University of Pittsburgh. I put myself through college, working nights and weekends at Eaton Park in the kitchen. And then I moved on to law school at Pitt, where I got my JD in 1986. And from there, I clerked in Fayette County for the Court of Common Pleas, Judges Adams and Franks. Uh, and after a year and a half there, I began my career as an appellate lawyer with the Superior Court clerking for Judge James E. Rowley in Beaver County. And I was there for about two and a half years before I was recruited by the Allegheny County District Attorney's Office to the appellate unit where I've been for the last 19 years doing criminal appeals on behalf of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And in that time, I've done over 600 criminal appeals in front of the Superior Court. I've done uh, 150 oral arguments before the Superior Court and 15 before the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. I've also done a number of cases before the Commonwealth Court on behalf of the Pennsylvania District Attorneys Association as amicus counsel. And uh, basically, I'm an appellate lawyer. Uh, and I'm rather unique in this race because I, I practice almost exclusively in the appellate courts and so I'm a, a specialist in the appellate courts and particularly the Superior Court. And uh, in addition to that, I'm a teacher at both Carlo University where I teach criminology and at Duquesne Law School. I'm an adjunct professor teaching uh, habeas corpus and post-conviction remedies. And surprising feature about me is the fact that I'm a member of the Steelworkers Union. I helped organize my office with the Steelworkers, so both the public defenders and the Allegheny County District Attorney's Office were all Steelworkers. All right. Uh, where can people go to get more information or to help with your campaign? Oh, uh, I have a website. It's uh, McCarthyForSuperiorCourt.com, and uh, there are a number of links there, uh, my endorsements, uh, qualifications, etc., and a nice bio. All right. What do you consider the most important issues uh, facing the judicial candidates this year? I know uh, because of the problems in Luzerne County, integrity is foremost in everyone's mind. Everywhere we've been, mind. everyone's raised the Luzerne County situation, and it's horrendous. I mean, it's, it's Dickensian in the fact that there were uh, judges who were literally selling children into bondage for their own financial gain. That's what occurred, and I can't say it any other way. And as a prosecutor, I'm offended. As a citizen, I'm, I'm outraged, and uh, uh, we should struggle both uh, the judiciary, prosecutors, the, ban uh, the, the bar. We should struggle to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. And I want the citizens of Pennsylvania, uh, myself, and the entire Democratic ticket is committed uh, to, to correcting these situations and preventing from anything like this ever happening again. And as a lifelong prosecutor, I can tell you, I'm certainly up to the challenge. Yeah. But the system actually did work there too, didn't it? Well, there you go. Uh, we always say that we catch them when they when the evidence presents itself. And many people said, couldn't the courts have caught it sooner? Well, think about what was happening. You had judges sentencing children without counsel uh, to jail or, or to an offender's program where they were locked down. So there was no one to advocate on their behalf. Once the information came to light, an investigation was begun and criminal charges were filed. They were removed from the bench and I understand they've withdrawn their pleas and there will be a trial now, but that's what happened. Yes. The system works. Yes. We're always afraid that it doesn't work soon enough. And yes. we have to put in place the kinds of checks and balances so that these kinds of situations will come to the forefront sooner as opposed to later. And this is why people should vote for Kevin McCarthy for Superior Court, isn't it? It is indeed. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.